job seeker this is the yumi Sim once again and for today's topic we're going to talk about four out of the box questions and answers 2020 plus tips and this is as per request by it's me and Jules. so i combined their requests in one so yeah let's go ahead and begin by the way if you're looking forward for more videos like this please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon next to it so you'll be notified each time i post a new video if you did already thank you so much and so let's begin question number one is how to sell a rotten apple so for you to take a look into or imagine how it looks like here it is okay so that is how a rotten apple looks like and so here are my tips for you to nail this question so this is commonly asked when you are applying for any sales related position what i mean with sales related position is that sales engineer sales executive sales representative any other position related to sales however if you are applying for technical service associate position or customer service associate position this might not be asked to you unless your account has an option for you to sell or pitch for a sale as well so this is asked to test your level of creativity or reasoning skill basically your ability to convince other people to buy this particular product that you are offering them and then you of course have to know your target who is your target so always think of the pros rather than the cons so think of the positive think of the benefits and advantages that your product can give you rather than focusing on the other side of it which is the cons so here are pointers pointers the reminder uh, when asked by this question so you should have an idea about rotten apples okay the benefit of rotten apples are in here rotten apples may not be edible anymore but it can be a natural soil fertilizer right so rotten apples can also be used to create apple cider which is beneficial to our health so the benefits of it one is antioxidant two it can be used as vitamin c and a lot more so since apples are rotten offer it in a cheaper price so compared to freshly picked apples which is a bit expensive then this rotten apples offer it in a cheaper price okay to make sure that it will be sold yeah <laughs> okay here is a sample answer please use it this way hi naomi naomi is your prospect's name and then please say it in an exciting way okay exciting enthusiastic upbeat mode so i'm sorry if i'm not that upbeat right now i'm out from work. i just came home from work and you know kind of exhausting chart so i have something to offer to you i know you'll love this because this is extremely beneficial i have here rotten apples i know you're fond of gardening and so you may use these as natural fertilizer so that your plants will grow healthy plus you can get this in a cheaper price compared to you buying fertilizer from the store okay so that's it All right, next question is, how would you sell an ice to an Eskimo? So first, what is Eskimo? I, I don't know. I'm not familiar with it. So I tried Googling it. Googling. <laughs> I tried looking for it on google just to be honest with you okay so because it's it's kind of difficult for me to figure this out so first identify the following what is this chemo second is how is it related to ice so we have to form something in our mind source for us to answer this question really so is chemo 
is a member of indigenous people inhabiting in northern Canada, Alaska, Greenland, and eastern Siberia. So, this is a photo of Eskimo, I believe. Yes, yeah, that's it. Then, how is it related to ice? They are related to ice because Eskimos live in cold places like Alaska and Siberia. So, as you may know, Alaska and Siberia, as well as Canada, really are cold places, right? So, that is how they are related to ice. Now, uh, I have here tips for you to nail this question. Again, this is asked when you are applying for any sales-related post. And this question tests your ability to persuade or convince someone to buy a product that you're offering even if they don't really need it. Why they don't really need it? Why? Because they are already living with the ice itself so you have to be creative with your answer and of course sugar coating is normal in sales really sugar coating if you know what i mean okay so here is a sample answer i have or hi nayumi i have here something special to offer to you there are a lot of varying shapes to choose from giant crescent cylindrical shaped and more these are eyes made extra special for you it may be cold in here already but having these tiny crystals with you will make you feel cozy okay so i think this is the best answer that you can offer possibly because at first you're giving them an option to choose from like you have the options to choose from and then they're wondering what are those products that you're offering so they're they're kind of curious was it what are those cylindrical shaped thing then you will say it's ice and okay so it's it's made extra special because it has shapes right compared to what they are normally seeing with them formless shapeless right so it may be cold in their places but you know seeing those tiny crystals will make them feel warm or cozy so i think you can nail it this way number three question is how would you sell a blank sheet of paper for 500 pesos so this is a difficult question as well really so let's take a look at the things to think about so what made this blank paper so special that it costs half a thousand peso so let's see closest answer would be because paper is made from trees right okay right so now is how much a tree costs so for example mahogany tree costs ten thousand pesos to fifteen thousand pesos based on my research so we can conclude that if paper is made from tree and tree costs at least ten thousand plus then it is fair enough for you to sell it for 500 pesos isn't it so it's an affordable offer already so take note that you can use this argument to convince your prospect okay so here are my tips for you when answering this question so if you're applying a sales representative once again this is more likely to be asked by your interviewer but if not it will be asked to you very rarely really then think of how that paper was created you also have to choose the right prospect to offer this product don't just offer it to anybody else you have to choose the right prospect then indicate its value or importance and then be creative with your answer so here is a sample answer hi karen by the way karen is my friend shout out to you <laughs> i know that you're listening or somewhat watching this videos of mine and so thank you so much for supporting me so okay i have here one piece of blank paper that i'd like to show you i know you love sketching and so you'll definitely like this for example karen says how much is that 
and then you will say it costs half a thousand pesos only so much cheaper compared to how much a single tree costs once cuts down to make this plus look how smooth this is so basically what you will do first is that you have to greet your prospect next is is that you have to acknowledge the fact that he or she can use it because she loves sketching or he or she loves sketching i'm referring to your prospect so it may cost a thousand pesos but yeah you can argue with your customer or don't argue at least let them know that a tree costs more than a thousand pesos so your offer is a lot cheaper plus look how smooth your product is so they it's comfortable to use so that's it all right so we're down to our last question so how do you sell internet to a blind old man Oh, this is a difficult question as well. So let's take a look into this answer. So things to think about. So we're now in a highly advanced world and no one should ever be left behind. Even a blind old person should be able to use internet too, right? And you will agree with this. Then think of an excellent way on how this person can take advantage of the internet even if he doesn't have the option to see it actually. Okay, so we also have to think about this. So that blind old man might have lost his sense of sight but not his sense of touch and sense of hearing, right? sense <laughs> internet is not designed solely for the purpose of seeing things or events live so we can also use internet when playing our favorite song or being able to talk to a device or product powered by internet so therefore you have to you can use this argument when answering this question really so here are my tips for you to nail this question again this is ask once again if you are applying a sales engineer sales executive sales representative and any other sales related post so think of how powerful internet is it is so powerful really you may state this as a fact blind people are great singers do you agree with me because yes this you can use this in pitching for an internet sale then deliver your message in a non-offensive manner okay don't be offensive because you're speaking with a blind person okay then use the tips i gave you prior to this okay here is a sample answer from yours truly hi naomi i have an interesting fact to share with you do you know that internet these days is so powerful that you can listen to all of your favorite songs from your favorite singer using a digital product that works using voice command so believe me when you say this it will arouse your prospects interest to get internet for him to listen to music and then you know buy a digital product and then use voice command instead of manually operating it okay so these days especially in the u.s you, if you're familiar with alexa devices you basically have to talk to a device command them like sing me a song play a song play taylor swift song and then it will play your song so that is actually powered by internet and so this is how you can pitch for a possible sale to a blind person okay so i hope i was able to help you at least with uh, this difficult <laughs> challenging questions i was really challenged so yes um are you looking for a call center job right now especially if you're within metro manila if yes send me a direct message and i'll be happy to help you land a job you may send me a message at noimilihukas cantoria that is my facebook page and yes thank you so much for watching Sana po may natutunan kayo. Please give this video a like. Share this video so others would know as well. Subscribe to my channel. 
and then leave a comment down below i'd surely appreciate that and of course turn on notifications for future uploads once again this name is see you take care always i'll see you again next time and bye now